My name is Rita Kering Chibet. Welcome on board. First to our headline story, five petitioners have moved, have moved to the court seeking conservatory orders stopping the implementation of the Affordable Housing Act. The petitioners argue that the act is a pyramid scheme made to hoodwink Kenyans and enrich a few that control the affordable housing fund and that the objects of the very act are illegal, irregular and irrational, only aimed at personal gain for the few. Bushebi Jr. tells us more. We just signed the, the housing bill in, into law. And you know, God has a way of doing things. The piece of legislation we passed today is even better than the one we envisaged earlier. Even before the dust settles on President William Ruto's pet legislation on housing, a petition has been filed challenging the new Affordable Housing Act 2024, which President enacted on Tuesday. Ruto signed the controversial bill into law after the Senate and National Assembly passed it last week, paving the way for the return of housing levy deductions. Benjamin Magare, an Akuru best doctor, together with Pauline Kinyanjui, Philemon Nyakundi, Shalom Nyakundi and Jamlik Orina, who identify themselves as Nakuru residents, have moved to court to oppose the law on grounds that it attempts to introduce communist ideologies. Tutakuwa na mortgage ya 6 or 5, 6%. 6% kwa wale watu wa affordable housing. The petition read in part, quote and unquote, the Affordable Housing Act 2024 essentially tries to introduce communist ideologies yet there is nowhere in the constitution which allows the government to introduce communist ideologies kenya is not a communist state and the constitution does not envisage it in this bill of today we we have a, a, a better ecosystem to work in communism is a socialist ideology which seeks to create a social order centered around common ownership of the means of production, distribution and exchange that allocates products to everyone in the society based on need. Communist governments are characterized by one party rule, rejection of private property and capitalism, state control of economic activity and mass media, restrictions on freedom of religion and suppression of opposition and dissent. So those who went to court thinking that they will stop this, they have only helped us to make it better. In their suit, the petitioners argue that the national government has now taken over the housing function from county governments and that the new law has introduced, quote and unquote, a shadow entity, the collector, which collects funds instead of the Kenya Revenue Authority. Lands Cabinet Secretary Alice Wahome, her Treasury counterpart Njoguna Ndungu, Attorney General Justin Muturi, the National Assembly and the Senate are listed as respondents in the suit. To create more homeowners. In the matter filed as urgent, the petitioners accuse the government of violating the constitution on the distribution of functions between the national and county governments, imposing a tax with a faulty legal framework and blatant dismissal of the results of the public participation process. The petition read, quote and unquote, the Affordable Housing Act has proceeded to impose a levy which was rejected by the majority during public participation, hence rendering public participation a cosmetic procedure and a waste of public resources. The petitioners argued that the housing fund has been established with a faulty legal framework and structures for implementation, making its application a matter for the executive's discretion and therefore making it susceptible to abuse. Further, they say there are no guarantees to contributors of benefits and that quote and unquote there are very low penalties for stealing from the fund or the board for all practical purposes the fund subjects employees and other income earners to cruel inhuman and degrading treatment which is tantamount to servitude 
According to the petitioners, the new housing law is discriminatory because it outlaws corporations from owning a house under the affordable housing program, yet they pay taxes and contribute to the economy. They further submit that an individual's salary is their private property and that the tax is unreasonable and unconstitutional because, quote, and unquote, it amounts to condemning workers to service mortgages for unknown houses they don't need and will never own. Through a popular vote in our manifesto, have a plan on how to create jobs in Kenya through the housing program. The petitioners now want the court to suspend the commencement, levying, obligations and operationalization of the Affordable Housing Act. They also want the government to ban from evicting Kenyans from public land for purposes of the act. The housing levy will see employed Kenyans remit a deduction of 1.5% from their monthly salaries. Employers will also remit an equal amount to the housing fund. The levy had been declared unconstitutional by the High Court in 2023 and then the Court of Appeal upheld the decision, maintaining that the levy was introduced without a legal framework. Rest. Uh, for more workers as opposed to other taxpayers or non-taxpayers. However, Ruto's government holds that the suspension provided room for restructuring the bill and now provides a new legal framework for the levy. Already, hundreds of families have been evicted from their residences in Wasingishu County to make way for the construction of the housing units while several others in Nairobi, Transoya, Nakuru and Karicho counties are on the brink of eviction. Kenyans have serious things ranging from unemployment, high cost of living. Housing is a private good that should be left to Kenyans to decide on their own by providing jobs and letting them build their own houses. Kenyans pay slip is constrained already. If you intrude into somebody's pay slip and you start deducting gross, do you really understand what you are doing? We just For Maisha Prime, Maisha Television, Ambushabi Jr.